Welcome everyone, this is John Sheely as Director for Research and Development for imadaytrader.com. Today we're going to take a look at how we can place the trend information of the 610 tick bar to the 233 tick chart. However, as always, we must review our risk disclosures. Please review the disclaimer very carefully. Trading carries a high level of risk and trading is not suitable for all persons. Past performance does not guarantee future results. Additionally, we must include our hypothetical disclaimer. I am a day trader performs a tremendous amount of research and backtest for our analysis. Please review the hypothetical disclaimer very carefully. Here we're taking a look at crude oil plotted in the 610 tick bar chart. I have illustrated five exponential moving averages. We have an 8 EMA, 21 EMA, 34 EMA, 89 EMA, and the 200 EMA. The EMA, remember, stands for exponential moving averages. Now what I'm going to do today is to demonstrate how you can analyze the price action and the trend of the 200 exponential moving average. First, take a look at the current price of the 200 EMA, 51.41. That is the lower line of the 200 EMA. A second exponential moving average is the 89 EMA, which I will discuss in greater detail in another video. Now importantly, notice that the slope of the 200 EMA is bullish and gradually rising. This is important because you are noticing that in the anchor chart of the 610 is in a bullish trend and prices are rising higher and higher. In the next slide we have two charts. On the left side is the 233 tick bar and on the right side is the 610 tick bar. Let's notice that you are seeing these two charts on a single monitor in your computer. A lot of traders are able to have multiple monitors in which they can easily look at each chart in detail. However, there are some traders who only have a single monitor, such as a normal laptop. Imagine if you had many more applications in your trading platform, such as the trading matrix or additional charts or other workspaces. As you can imagine, the screen becomes very crowded. For new traders, traders are frequently jumping back and forth trying to analyze prices and trends. Let me try to easily follow the major trend of the 200 EMA in a single chart. That chart will be the 233 tick chart. For today, we're taking a look at just the 200 EMA. What is the first thing that is important in the chart? First, of course, it is the price, 51.41. In this case, it's the last price of the value of the 200 EMA. What else is important in the general trend of prices? We see that by analyzing the slope of the moving average, the 200 exponential moving average is consistently rising to indicate a bullish trend. Now let's take a look at the chart. Prices decline. But they go to where? Right at the moving average 200 EMA. Notice right here, prices decline. They barely just above the 200 EMA, but it's close. All right, let's take a look at the prices here. This is around 1427, and we have a decline underneath the 200 exponential moving average. But now, take a look at the same areas in the 233 tick bar chart. I have plotted at the bottom a blue dotted exponential moving average. Let's find the important information as we've seen before. First, the price 5141. This is the same that we saw in the 610 tick chart of the 200 EMA. Now let's take a look at the chart in regards to the slope of the moving average. This is slightly dotted in the chart. Now notice prices are rising higher and higher. The slope of the moving average is exactly the same as we had in the 610 chart. So remember we have two declines and they are just underneath 
the exponential moving average in the dotted line here. Here, here, almost touching, and then this one gets underneath just a little bit, and then obviously we had a rally. So in this particular case, you're seeing the same information in the 233 tick chart as we had the 610. Here, let me show you another example, a little earlier in time. Here we have a slope of the moving average. This is the 610 tick chart. So, what happened to this decline? It gets just underneath this average. Did prices rally? Yes, they did. Is this the bounce that we're always looking for? Yes. Prices got underneath, and we are able to rally and make a wonderful trade. Be nice if we could find the same information in a different chart. Take a look at the chart now of the 233 tick bar. What do you see? The prices have gone underneath, bounced around this average. What is it? 535. This is a 535 exponential moving average. And what I'm showing you here is it is getting the exact slope. It is showing you the exact price of which you can rally against. This trade is in the same direction that you're going to find in the 610 EMA. So let's summarize. Using the 535 EMA in a 233 tick chart, only use the 535 in the direction of the 610 anchor chart. So in other words, the 535 is going to be in the same slope that you're going to find in the 610. Secondly, you can use the 535 EMA to enter trades based upon the price information of the 610 tick chart. It's very important. We're all going to notice the slope. We're going to notice a correction that touches and bounces above and below the 535 to set up a trade just exactly as we saw in the 610 tick chart. We will demonstrate in other videos how to execute the bounce trades from the 610 anchor chart using a single one chart, the 233 tick chart. Finally, the mastery is the key of success, but so many traders are not willing to take the time to master their trading strategy. Well, guess what? That's what we do. We are soon going to have your own room where you can not only follow trades, watch the information, learn more about how to trade, and also use the strategies with great success. This is John Sheely with IamADayTrader.com.